Hello. Hello, welcome again to this channel again. In today's video, I'm talking about uh, how to feed your pigs, feeding tips for pigs. So at the end of the day, the most important thing when it comes to pig investments and pig farming is feeding and, med and medication. We are feeding towards the chart. Now, if you want to get the best possible result you can get from your farm, and that means you have to feed your pigs better, and you have to feed them very well. You have to focus on quantity and quality of feed you are giving to your pigs. Now, what do I mean by quality? What I mean by quality is that, is that you have to make sure that the feed you are giving to your pigs are very, very rich. You have to make sure that it involves all the five essential nutritional needs of a pig. What are those five essential nutritional needs? We have water, we have uh, carbohydrates, we have protein, we have uh, vitamins, we have fats and oil. These are the five essential nutritional requirements of your pigs. And um, now, which uh, feeds provide all these essential requirements? Now, for the, for the uh, carbohydrate and energy, the most consumed, or rather the most used feed for that nutritional value is corn. Now, if you want to make sure that your pigs are eating a food that is rich in carbohydrate, that means you have to incorporate corn. Not only corn, there are also alternatives to this corn of it, because at times corn can be very, very expensive, so you have to be able to find alternatives to it. Now, apart from going for corn, you can also go for cassava meal. That means you go for cassava meal. Another alternative you can also go for is, uh, is uh, wheat and wheat byproducts. What do I mean by, by wheat byproducts? All these things that are made from wheat, from wheat flour. That means, the number, and, the, and the number one of the, the number one alternative, the number one byproduct of, of wheat flour, as we all know, is bread. Bread is in abundance. So that's why I said it's the number one byproduct of wheat flour. Funny enough, we use uh, bread here as a source of energy since, uh, since, since corn is very, very expensive. Um, now for the protein source, for protein, the most used protein source in, in pig diet is the soya bean. Soya bean, but if you don't want to, if assessing soya bean is much of a problem for you, or if it's too expensive for you, or if it's too, or if you just can't use it, you can go for alternatives. Now, what are these altern alternatives? The alternatives include blood meal, fish meal, granite cakes, um, what else? Yeah, these are the three alternatives you can go for. And uh, here in this farm, we use soya, meal, soya bean at times. We use also blood meal at times. So you just have to look for the one that works best for you. Now, for the fast and oil, um, soya also has a source of fast and oil. But if you're not using soya, you can go for the pancane cake, pancane cake from, the, from companies that make uh, uh, granite oil. You can buy the leftovers, that's the pancane cake. Pancane residue. As for the, that's for the fast and oil. Now for the vitamins, you need to be incorporating chicken premix or any, any vitamin formula. You can be able to access into your pig feed because pigs also require vitamins. Vitamins. Now for the okay. For the fast and oil, if you don't want to use uh, soya bean. Or if you don't want to use PKC, you can also get any kind of any feed you know that contains a lot of fat in it. So as to make sure that your pigs eat better and better food. So um, feeding your pigs is very, very important. And that's why you need to focus on the quality of feed you are giving to your pigs. Because that will help you to grow your pigs faster and grow your pigs better because feeding and medication are the two most important things 
when it comes to big family. For example, now, um, we use what we usually what we usually means to get all the components of the feeder of to get a very well a, a well balanced feed in, on this farm is we use bread as a source of carbohydrates, we use soya bean as protein, we use PKC as a source of fats or fast oil and fiber. That was the work of the PKC. And we also use the vitamin, the vitamin premix to provide vitamins for the pigs. And then the water, you all know that that water is very, very, very important in your pig diet because what you made them to eat more is when they eat, they drink water, they eat more, they drink water. So that's it. And that means if you are feeding your pigs very well, they grow better, they grow healthier, and they look and they, and they, and they, and they, you know, they feel good. And when your animals feel good, they also feel good. So that's on today's video. I'm always available if you need my help on consultations. I give, and I'm always available for consultations. And I also have a book which is available for those who want to get into piggery, those who want to start their pig farms, or those who have already started their pig farms and you need help to get better results and to grow your farm better, all you have to do is to let me know, call or WhatsApp me on the numbers on your screen, and I will always be available to help. Mind you, every, everything that you can think of that has to do with big family is on this book. The value is, uh, there is no, I can't even, I can't even tell you the, the degree of value contained in that book. It's very, very important for those who are about to enter into this pig farm, or those who are about, or those who are already in the pig venture, it's very, very important because it's very, it can be very, very uh, disappointing and depressing at times that you put your money into a business and, you, and you're not seeing results, or you end up in losses. So that's why it's always advisable to get the right information before you get into that venture or as you're into the venture already. You get the right information, that which will help you to run your businesses, to run your business better or to run that particular venture better so, so that you won't end up wasting your money investing in a particular venture and seeing yourself in losses. So, so that's why it's always available, it's always advisable to get the right information. And that's why, and that's the purpose of this book, to help those who are about, or those who are already in the pig sector to succeed better, to get better results, and to grow their pigs better. So if you need this book, which is very, very recommendable, I recommend it to everybody starting their pig farm. Although they're already into pig, pig you, you all need this book because it's very, very, in fact, the value cannot, I cannot even stress the value again because it is very, very, very valuable and very, very essential if you want to start your pig venture. So thank you and subscribe to this channel. Thank you and remain safe. Thanks.